back after after the two you know top five teams you played? Yeah, um, I think playing teams like that early um, show us where we are, what we need to work on, and what we need to do to be you know, a top five team in the country. And so I think it was a good test for us with being such a young team. Um, we had a team meeting yesterday and just getting back to the basics and fundamentals and, and doing what we know we're capable of doing. Was the meeting yesterday the first since the game, or have you had some time off and away from it a little bit? Uh, yes, it was first since the game because uh, after Stanford, we all went home and were excited about that. So came back to business yesterday, and that was the first thing we addressed. Had Holly calmed down a little bit since after the game the other night? She was. Oh, little... not at all. No, uh, she might have calmed down and enjoyed her Christmas break, but when she got back yesterday, she remembered everything. What was she emphasizing? Defense. Uh, this program was built on defense rebounding, and we watched film against Stanford, and we just let them do whatever they wanted to do on the offensive end. And so, um, you know, we're we're talented enough to put enough points on the board, but we also have to play defense and get stops. Those games are, are sort of a barometer for March. Um, how much do you take out of those games in, in, as far as what you have to work on, or do you get overly concerned about it at this point, or do you know, hey, we've got some time to work on this? We may see these teams again in March, and, and we, you know, we'll be okay by then, I guess. We all know it's a long season, and like you said, it shows us where we are right now and what we need to work on to get better, you know, and to be where they are. And so, like I said, just getting back to the basics and see what we need to work on and just getting better. How tough was it, the stretch of, you know, some coaches will say, I, I can't believe they, even Conzo said, you know, I, I probably wouldn't have scheduled some of the games that we did right in a row. How tough is it, but how much does it make you grow to have that stretch that you have with Texas and then coming back here? It's very tough. I mean, you know, that's why we come to Tennessee, to play against the best night in and night out. And, you know, it challenges us. And like I said, it shows us what we need to do to get better. And, and we want to be where those teams are. And I think that's a good test for us. You said Holly challenged you guys defensively. You personally, what what do you, what's your, her challenge to you? Um, lead this team. Uh, she said I've been very relaxed and chilled lately. And, and that's how my teammates have been playing. I know that they follow me and feed off me. So I have to get back my game right and, you know, being aggressive, coming out with that confidence and that swagger so I can feed off for my teammates. What did you all talk about in the team meeting? Was it just about the Stanford game, or were there other things that, that were discussed in that meeting? It was. We talked about how we played against Texas and then how we played against Baylor and Stanford. And, you know, how against our la before our last three games, we played with such confidence. We played hard. We played together the team. And how the last three games, we kind of played selfish and, and not playing team basketball or Tennessee basketball. And so, you know, just getting back to that, doing what we did before the prior three games, and, you know, just always improving, learning from our mistakes. and came out the ending was everything that we need to improve on and stuff that can be improved on and so it's simple things that we just have to get better. It looked like the tempo that you guys played at in those three games wasn't where it was in, in that North Carolina game. Um, how do you get back to that? I mean what what needs to happen there do you think? It's a mental thing you know we all have to come out with the same mindset that we want to run we want to play hard for 40 minutes and that's something that we have lacked the past two games and then we just have to get back to it. Is it, is this been, you know, I think you all wanted to play this tempo. I mean, we talked to early in the year and everyone's real excited about it. Is this thing, is it easier said than done to, sus to sustain this game after game after game? Oh, most definitely. Uh, playing fast is difficult, especially, you know, when you have time off and, you know, it's the holidays, so everyone's been eating those sweets that grandma's been making. But, you know, it's a mental thing. If that's how we want to play, and that's what we have to do. We just got to all put our minds to it and go out there and get it done. Do you feel like this, you have the, does this team have the physical conditioning across the board to do it, or, or is that something that's still a, a work in progress? It's always going to be a work in progress when it comes to conditioning, but I think we are very capable of doing that. And then, I mean, with 11 players, we have such a, a deep bench, and therefore you play two, three minutes hard and get a break. And that's one thing that's so good about this team is our depth and just being able to run each other in and out and being able to play hard every time we're on the court. Are there things that, that you need to do to sort of help this, help sustain it, like defense, boards? What I mean, what are the things, the components of your all's basketball play that would – help you sustain a, a tempo that you want to play at? The main thing is consistency. Um, if we continue to rebound, play defense and rebound night in and night out, we'll be able to play that up-tempo style that we want to play. But, you know, if we're letting teams do whatever they want in the offensive end and scoring baskets, it's very hard to run a transition when other team is scoring. One final question. The rebounding thing, I mean, is, is Holly sort of uh, emphasized that it can't just come from the post players, the guards have to get into the mix too? and. I guess where are you guys at with that? I haven't looked specifically to see who's doing what as far as numbers go, but 
Um, how much emphasis has been on, on the guards as far as trying to get in there and, and get some boards? She's put a lot, a lot of emphasis on it. Um, most times, you know, when teams get offense rebounds, it's long rebounds, and it's us guards, you know, just watching and not crashing the board. So usually we send one or two players back, but now in practice she's making all five of us are going to the glass to rebound. You see a different side of Hotley, uh, maybe that you hadn't seen after the Stanford game. Maybe a little tougher coach, perhaps, because of the way the game went. Yes, I do. Uh, you know, she she's been on us and challenging us every single day. And you know, the nice Holly I think is over with, and she's not playing with us anymore.